Well, hello and how are you? Hey, welcome to the fr friend, uh, friend, uh, friend, uh, friend, uh, friend, uh, hey friends. Welcome to the Shen Show. I am your host. I, your host, your host, your host with the most. I am your ho your host, your, your host. Sound check, Mike, Mike, Mike check. Hey, hey, Mike check. How now, brown cow? Okay, hello, hey, hey. Hello and how are you? Hey friends, welcome to the Shin Show. I am your host, Shenandoah Briscoe, coming to you from right here in St. Charles, Missouri. Mike check, 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 one, two. One, two, Mike, Mike check. Check, Mike, Mike check. Check, Mike, Mike, Mike check. There you go. One, two, one, 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 two. Okay, there we go, there we go. All right, ten. Hello and welcome to the Shen Show. I am your host, Shenandoah Briscoe, coming to you from right here in St. Charles, Missouri. All right, today is Tuesday, March the 24th. Birthday shout outs are going out to Annie Camp. That's right, Annie Camp, you got a birthday today. So, therefore, you're going to get out a shout out from me. That's right. Shenandoah Briscoe says, Happy, happy birthday to you. I said, Hey, I heard it's your birthday today. So happy birthday, I'ma say. You know, Annie, you got another year older today. So happy birthday to you, I say. I said, hey, I heard it's your birthday today. So happy birthday, I'ma say. You know, you're one year older today. So happy birthday to you, I say. And many more. Yeah, cha 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 cha. All right, all right, all right. Hey, how about the local weather forecast for the St. Charles viewing area? You know, I would tell you what's going on around town, but it's locked down town. Locked down, locked down. Only not supposed to get out and walk around. It's locked down in, locked down in St. Charlie town. That's right. That's right. All right, tonight is uh, today, today, March 24th. Tonight, uh, the showers are going to be early, uh, partly cloudy skies later on tonight with overcast overnight altogether. Lows around 39 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be north at uh, 10 to 15 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, miles per hour. Winds are going to be north at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chances of rain, 40%. That's right. Mike, check. Mike, Mike. Hey, Mike, check. Check. All right. All right, there we go. All right, all right, all right. Okay, um, let's see. What else did I want to say? Oh, yeah, it's uh, 34 degrees out there right now. All right, Wednesday, March the 25th, partly cloudy skies, highs around 62 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be south-southeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Few clouds from time to time overnight with uh, lows around 50, or, sorry about that, 49 degrees. Winds are going to be directly out of the south at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Then partly to mostly cloudy on uh, Thursday, March the 26th. But we're in for a warm-up, folks. Highs around 72 degrees Fahrenheit. That's right, 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Too bad it's cloudy, you know. Anyway, the winds are going to be south to southeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Partly cloudy skies early with scattered thunderstorms developing later at night. Lows around 54 degrees Fahrenheit. And winds are going to be west to northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Mm, chances of rain 50%. And then Friday, how about Friday, March 27th, scattered showers and thunderstorms, highs near 70 degrees Fahrenheit, winds are going to be east at 5 to 10 miles per hour, chances of rain 60%, thunderstorms and low are overnight, lows around 62 degrees Fahrenheit, winds are going to be south to southeast at 10 miles per hour, that's 5 to 10 miles per hour, that is, chances of rain 80%, Saturday, Whoa, back to Saturday. Thunderstorms are likely in the morning. Then a chance of scattered thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs around 72 degrees Fahrenheit. And winds are going to be south to southwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Chances of rain, 80%. Few clouds from time to time. Lows around 48 degrees overnight. La uh, winds are going to be west to southwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Sunday, March 29th, sunshine and clouds mixed in. Highs around 61 degrees Fahrenheit, and winds are going to be north to northwest at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Partly cloudy skies overnight, lows around 41 degrees Fahrenheit. 
Winds are north at, well, that's northwest at, 5 to 10 miles per hour. And that concludes your five-day forecast for the St. Charles Viewing Area. All righty then. Hey, you know what? I, uh, I've i been I've been thinking about this song for the last two days. Well, I was going to do it yesterday, but then uh, Kenny Rogers, uh, I wanted to do that tribute, which I really loused up bad. Sorry about that, folks. But uh, anyway, here we go. I close my eyes For if only for a moment Then that moment's gone All my dreams Pass by before my eyes With curiosity Dust in the wind All we are is dust in the wind Say, old song, just drop a water in it, endless sea. All we do crumbles to the ground, therefore we refuse to see dust in the wind. All we are is dust in the wind. Oh, oh. Now don't hang on. Nothing lasts for heaven but the earth and sky. It slips away. And all your money won't another moment buy. Dust in the wind. All we are is dust in the wind. All we are is dust in the wind, dust in the wind. Everything is dust in the wind. Everything is dust in the wind. Everything is dust in the wind, in the wind. All right. Hey, you know what? I thought I'd sing one for my grandson and granddaughter. Uh, so, hey, if y'all got kids, gather them around and we'll just do this one. It's from a long time ago, back when I was just a kid. You might remember it yourself, if uh, you had parents what sang to you and what not, and or maybe in music class in school, uh, kindergarten, remember kindergarten, way back when finger printing was, uh, finger paints was fun? Well, they don't even do that no more, apparently. They go right into one, two, threes, and ABCs, and if you don't know them before you get there, why well, you're in trouble. And I would do the ABC song, but I think we'll do this one first. There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a hole. There's a hole. There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. Well, there's a log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole in the bottom of the sea. Well, there's a bump on the log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a bump on the log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole in the bottom of the sea. Well, there's a frog on the bump on the log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a frog on the bump on the log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a fly on the frog on the bump on the log in the hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a fly on the frog on the log in the bump on the, on the bump on the log in the hole on the bottom of the sea. Oh, there's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole in the bottom of the sea. Oh, there's a wing on the fly, on the frog, on the bump, on the log, in the hole of the bottom of the sea. And there's a wing on the fly, on the frog, on the bump, on the log, in the hole in the bottom of the sea. Oh, there's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole in the bottom of the sea. Well, there's a bee on the wing, on the fly, on the frog, on the bump, on the log, in the hole, on the bottom of the sea. 
Uh, there's a bee on the wing, on the fly, on the frog, on the bump, in the log, in the hole, in the bottom of the sea. Well, there's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole in the bottom of the sea. Well, there's a hole in the bottom of the sea. There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. Well, there's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole, there's a hole in the bottom of the sea, in the bottom of the sea. There's another one that's got a similar to that. that it's a story about the little old lady who swallowed the fly. Story, little lady who swallowed the fly. There was a little old lady who swallowed the fly. That's the one. Well, let's do it. Let's do it. There was an old lady who swallowed a fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. I don't even see it. Oh, there it is, finally. Get down to it. Get down to the nitty and the gritty of it. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old lady who swallowed a spider that wriggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly, and I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old lady who swallowed a bird. How absurd to swallow a bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old lady who swallowed a cat. Imagine that, she swallowed a cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. And I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old lady who swallowed a dog. What a hog to swallow a dog. Well, she swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. And I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old lady who swallowed a goat. She just opened her throat and in walked the goat. She swallowed the goat to catch the dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. And I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old lady who swallowed a pig. What a frig to swallow a pig. She swallowed the pig to catch the goat. She swallowed the goat to catch the dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. I know an old lady who swallowed a cow. I don't know how she swallowed a cow. She swallowed the cow to catch the pig. She swallowed the pig to catch the goat. She swallowed the goat to catch the dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider. And so she swallowed that spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. There was an old lady who swallowed a horse. She's dead, of course. How can you swallow a horse? Alrighty, alrighty, there you go. That's a little old lady. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, diddle diddle, the cow and the fiddle. The something jumped over the moon. The, the cat and the fiddle? The bow and the fiddle? Mother goose, hey, diddle diddle. Oh, oh, it's a song. Hey, diddle diddle, the cat in the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such a sport. And the dish ran away with the spoon. I said, I hate diddle diddle, the cat in the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such a sport. 
And the dish ran away with a spoon. Hey, diddly dee. So rhyme is the source of an English expression, over the moon, meaning uh, delighted, thrilled, and extraordinarily happy. And it's got music to it. The melody, commonly associated with the rhyme, was first recorded by the composer and nursery rhyme collector James William Elliot in his National Nursery Rhymes and Nursery Songs in the 17 are in 1870. The word sport in the rhythm is sometimes replaced with fun or craft. Hmm. Oh, it goes din 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 It sounds more like uh, the little old lady. But anyway, and then there was the cockle show girl. Uh, Mary, Mary, quite contrary. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. How does your garden grow? Oh, it's a song by Tim Hart. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. I don't need the song. I just want some lyrics. Mary, Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells, and pretty maids all in a row. There you go. I guess that's it. That's it. That's all she wrote. Oh, how about the other little spider story? There. Uh, little Miss Muffet, she tad on it, sat on a tuffet, eating her cottage cheese. When along came a spider that sat down beside her. And frighten Miss Muffet away. Okay, let's try it a different way. So it makes a little more sense. Ah, uh, little Miss Muffet, she sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. When along came a spider and sat down beside her, and frightened Miss Muffet away. Curds and whey is cottage cheese, by the way. I figured you'd figure that one out after I'd done it the first time. Well, now, this little piggy, he went to the market, and this little piggy, he stayed home. This little piggy, he had roast beef, and this little piggy, why, he had none. This little piggy said, wee, 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 all the way home. There you go, is that right? This little piggy went to the market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef. This little piggy had none. And this little piggy said, wee, 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 all the way home. Okay. But there's another version of that one, and that one goes like this. Why, this little piggy said, I want some corn. And this little piggy said, where are you going to get it? And this little piggy said, Grandpa's barn. This little piggy says, I'll tell. And this little piggy said, wee, 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 can't get over the door, or the barn doorstep. Boom. That there one is a, a plowman there. That one's a plowman. You've got to give credit to the plowman for that one. That there is Junior Plowman version of the three or the five little piggy story on the toes for your toes. This little piggy, Junior Plowman. That's right. This little piggy. All right. That's your great great grandpa Oliver, and uh um, I guess he'd be your great great grandpa. Now he'd just be your great grandpa. Your grandpa. Yeah, your great grandpa. He'd be your great-grandpa. That's right. Junior Plowman would be your great-grandpa because he was your mommy's grandpa. And I don't know if she ever... Well, I know she met him. She got He got to hold her in his arms before he passed away. But that would be... Yep, that'd be your great-grandpa. I really like Junior. He was a good man. Anyway, that's all up and gone. And beside the point, let's not go there. Let's all be safe and lock ourselves in our homes and throw away the keys. Pull out your shotguns if you got toilet paper at ease. Because, well, that's one of those things. But I don't worry about that sort of thing. Somebody asked me the other day, they said, you know, some of the posts that you put up makes it sound like you're kind of worried about having uh, toilet paper. Well, no, I don't have to worry about that because, well, God is favorable to me and so long as God keeps um, growing trees, 
I'll find something to wipe my hiney with. There's some green floaty things out there, and they call them leaves. They work just as well as any toilet paper, if you please. Just make sure you don't get the three-pointed kind or the five-pointed kind, because you don't want poison ivy or poison oak. No siree. Yeah. All righty. Oh, it must be wonderful to be a tree. There is another. There is a nursery rhyme about the trees. Nursery rhyme about trees. A tree rhyme. Okay. Imagines for nursery rhymes about trees. A uh, list of nursery rhymes. I had a little nut tree. Nursery rhyme. Flowers and nur nur Okay. We'll try that one. I had a little nut tree. We'll go with that. I had a little nut tree. It is very old nursery rhyme. Oh, it was published. Da da da. Who cares? I had a little nut tree. Nothing would it bear but a silver nutmeg and a golden pear. The king of the of Spain's daughter came to visit me, all for all for the sake. Of my little tree. That was it. Welch. I had a little nut tree. Nothing would it bear. But a silver nutmeg. And a golden pear. The king of Spain's daughter. He came to visit me. And all for the sake. Of my little tree. Okay, there you go. A hot day, you hot dog. All right. We got anything else for the kids? Anything else for the kids? You tell me some stories that these kids like to hear. I know there's one about a pig. I know. There's one about a big mouth frog. I could go into that one, but we're out of time today. Tomorrow, if somebody calls me up and reminds me, hey, Dad, do big mouth frog. Then I will do Big Mouth Frog, but unless you remind me, I'm not going to do it. So that'll get me a phone call from my kids or somebody. Somebody out there, give me a call. I'll tell you the whole story about the Big Mouth Frog. All right? All right, then. Anyway, that looks like it's about time for our portion of the program called Our Daily Bread. And Our Daily Bread's today's devotion is the bell. The bell. You know what a bell is, right? It's one of them uh, brass round things. kind of looks shaped like a bell. And it's got a knocker on the inside. And you grab the rope and you swing it back and forth. And you knock the knocker with the bell. And it rings, it rings out, and it rings out loud. That's what the, the way they used to call the folks to church every Sunday. That was to let you know what time of day it was, when to where, and how to get there. Anyway, um, if you're following the Bible with Briscoe, then you'll be re we'll be covering today Joshua 16 through 18 and Luke 2, 1 through 24. Joshua, Joshua. I always want to sing that, and then I never do. And it came out of one of the movies, and so I don't. I doubt that there's even lyrics for it somewhere, somewhere in the m musical of uh, Jesus or somebody in the musical of the Bible. Uh, I'm sure it's in there. Anyway, um, today's scripture for the insight of the bell, for the uh, devotion, the bell is Matthew 16, 13 through 20. And so therefore, I'm going to go ahead and read that for you. Because that I can read. And I can't read the uh, devotion of the bell. But I can read Matthew 16, 13 through 20. When Jesus came to the region of Cassira, Philippe, he asked his disciples, Who do people say? the Son of Man is. They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others say Elijah, and still others say Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. But what about you, he asked? Who do you say I am? Simon Peter answered, You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. Jesus replied, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for this was not revealed to you by flesh 
and blood, but by my Father in heaven. And I tell you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not overcome it. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth will be lost in heaven. Then he ordered his disciples not to tell anyone that he was the Messiah. So there you have it, Matthew sixteen thirteen through 20. All righty, friends, that looks like the end of it, so I'm going to have to say, well, goodbye, my friends, it's uh, time to go. I said goodbye, my friends, it's uh, time to go. I hate to leave you, but I really must go. So goodbye, my friends, goodbye. This here has been Shenandoah Briscoe saying hello and how are you? Thanks for tuning in to the Shin Show and as always, come back and see me again tomorrow because, well, I'll be here and I hope that you are too. <laughs>